they're gonna be coming in droves. And the thing is, you're gonna have them in all ages. If you want somebody younger, want somebody older, because it's gonna start happening. And it's gonna be a cold winter. It's coming. Winter is here. Hey guys, welcome back to the Black Filipino TV. Now today I got a video. This actually is a video for Filipinas. This is a public service announcement to all Filipinas out there who like foreigners, okay? This is why I'm making a public service announcement. Because you have to think, I've made tons of videos. You guys know about it. I made tons of videos and in the past, a little bit on the Black Filipino channel, but a lot more recently on More to Life. And in those videos, I'm pretty much talking about how the West has been destroyed, how women actually hate feminine qualities. You know, it's actually looked at as evil right now in the West from women. There's some women that get it right, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that the West is completely done, but it is, you know. Now here's the situation, and this is how guys look at it. Would you rather have the odds of two out of three women being good, or one out of three women? Most guys are gonna choose one out of three. Right? You just use these fingers. I don't want to pick up the middle finger. Most guys are going to choose one out of three. And what's happening is a lot of guys already have Southeast Asia in their sight. You're going to have guys coming over here who some of us will be a little rough around the edges. Some of us need to become sweet again, right? And the thing is, with Filipinas, a guy can become a sweet guy, you know, practice courting. Again, you know, because that's something that's dead right now where we're from. And us guys coming here need that. And you can't expect a guy to just be an all-out simp. Some guys may be all-out simps. And guys, don't come here and be all-out simps. Because that's not what needs to happen. You know, to come over here and, and start making women feel over-entitled. Because that does happen. Some women have... Dude, that does happen. Some women are poisoned that way. And you guys can't come over here and straight poison the woman out here in another country. Because that's what's going to happen. And then they'll end up complaining later. But, guys are going to be gentle. Guys need gentle women again. A lot of guys may not used to it. I'll tell you this, me myself, when I came here, right, I had game in my mind. What I mean is, you know, like the dating coaches, with they all, all the stuff they preach, I had that mentality. You can't over-validate a woman, and it's still true. It's still true, you can't over-validate, even though with Filipinas, you can do it more because they're gonna be in that fit, feminine friendly mindset. You know, but guys are coming. Guys are coming, so if you're a lady out there, and say if you may be a little bit overweight, you know what? Start hitting that treadmill. <laughs> and I'm not trying to bash anyone that's overweight in the Philippines, I'm just being real. Start, cause guys, especially if you like foreigners, because guys are coming. They're gonna be coming in droves. You know, with everything being the way it is, and how easy it is right now to work online, it's like the great opportunity time to where things are going bad, inflation is happening, but, a lot of people are moving to online working. A lot of people are working while in other countries. I've done it for a while, but now a lot of people are starting to become hip to it. And guys want to be able to take advantage and be out here and not have to bring women back to the States. That's going to die soon. Guys are going to say, you know what? I want to take my money and I'm young, I'm a young guy, or I'm 30, 40, even 50. I want to take my money because those guys that are 50 are starting to do it because they're starting to retire when they hit like 55, 60. And guys are saying, you know what, I'm going to go to the Philippines. But you're going to start having younger guys. Pretty much all guys are going to come. You know, I speak to guys all the time who are 22 years old, who are qualified too. You know, these guys are making 100000 with their own online business. And they're going to start coming here. So prepare for it. Because, ladies, you're going to see an influx of guys who are not so judgmental. You know, what happens is we're being judged, you know, we're being crucified pretty much. We're being judged so harshly right now in the States by women. You know, we're called broke boys, all kinds of things we're called. We're called uh, misogynists, which is so far from the truth. You know, you ladies meet us all the time. Most of us, I can't say all of us. You have some guys that come here who are, you know, out off their rocker, but for the most part, guys are coming. Gentlemen, looking to be sweet to women who are looking to be sweet to us, it's going to increase. Pretty soon, I know before in the Philippines, you know, you Filipinos, you won't see many foreigners in the province. <laughs> but you see them in Manila, you see them in Cebu, but now, you're gonna start going, wait a minute. Why are there so many foreigners 
walking up my block. <laughs> it's happening. It's gonna happen soon. Because right now, men are being pushed out, being forced out. And it's so bad to where, now if you're even masculine, it's seen as toxic masculinity. But really what's happening in the West is toxic femininity. Ladies, men are not the prize. Prizes are hard to get. Men are easy. And it's just preposterous. It really is, guys. It's preposterous. And, and this is for the ladies. I'm not talking to guys because you guys already know. So if, if any ladies that may come across this, keep in mind, if you've never considered a foreigner before and you're saying, you know what, I may go with a foreigner. Don't go with that old stigma that has been put in countries. You know, sometimes you have certain people that say, oh, you want to go date a foreigner? Are you trying to get to the money? Don't look at it like that. You know, look at it like, okay, it's a guy that's a little bit different, a little bit exotic to you, all right? And the thing is, you're going to have them in all ages. If you want somebody younger, want somebody older, because it's going to start happening. It's going to start happening, so prepare for it. Because pretty soon, what's going to start happening too is you're going to start seeing expats generating more money for the Philippines than travel vloggers. You know, because these travel vloggers, they come here and yeah, they show the islands, it looks all good. But a lot of people look to the expats for, can I live there? What's gonna start happening, and it's already happening now, is us guys that are expats are generating more money for the Philippines now because they, you know, we're showing cost of living more. And you have travel vloggers that do it too. But still, the expats, they look to us for the more real feeling of the Philippines. You want the real feeling of the Philippines, you ask someone like myself or some of the other guys. And they're gonna tell you. You know, I know you guys have seen my videos recently and even back in the day where we're talking about real topics in the Philippines. And that's something travel vloggers really don't touch on. So guys are looking to us to say, you know what? I wanna want know the real what's happening. I wanna know what's happening. I want the guys that have their feet pounded in the pavement. Hey, let me go watch Jay or let me go watch this other guy and see what he's talking about. And that's what's gonna happen. So that revenue is going to increase in these countries. It's going to blossom. You know, the Philippines is gonna start becoming like how Thailand is. Not yet, but pretty soon. You know, you're going to see that increase. And it's because of the great divide that's happening in the West. It's because of the great divide that's happening in Canada. It's because of the great divide that's happening in Sweden. Right now in Sweden, I'm sure you guys seen it. They're importing women from Thailand in those countries over there. And in Scandinavia too. They're importing women from other countries because it's getting so bad. And it's crazy, guys. Even, it's even so bad right now in China. You know, in places like that, they can be real with women because it's not... A matriarchy, you know, and and in China, they call it leftover woman, right? I forgot. I, I actually got a clip right here, guys. They call them leftover woman. In China, if a woman is over 30 years old and she isn't married, we call her 剩女, 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 which means over left woman over left woman and that's what you got a neighbor guys see the name she said practice that name practice that name because i'm going to start saying it i'm going to start saying it just like that chinese lady said it man because it's women need to understand the real what's really happening they need a reality check and that's why all this all these videos on youtube has become so prominent now because younger men need to see that they need to see men standing up for themselves and say you know what I can get behind that. Okay, this is how I carry it. Because they're trying to make men more feminine. So guys will say, okay, you want to make us feminine over here? We're going. So ladies, prepare for it. Because that's what's happening right now in the world. And it's only going to increase. And that only means more money for other countries. You know, feminism is running the men out. And it's having the women and creating more, creating more debt slaves. It's crazy. So men will say, okay, you know what? I'll be a debt slave. I'll just be a debt slave over here. Okay? And that's what's happening. So yeah, it's a new day. It's a new day out there, guys. Winter is coming. Actually, winter's almost here. It's fall, it's fall in the States right now. And it's gonna be a cold winter. It's coming. Winter is here. It's fall right now in the States, but winter is pretty much here. So guys, if anybody needs some help and wanna know how, know how it is to work online, I've been doing it for seven years. Check me out, you know, the, the it's very inexpensive to learn. You know, I wouldn't charge you guys a thousand. You got people out there charging guys thousands and thousands for programs, mm -mm. you know, cause it's not about getting rich off guys. It's about keeping it cheap, 
So guys, oh, you know what? I want to learn, and guys will take the chance to learn. Because I think more guys need to learn how to secure an income and be independent because it's so inexpensive to live. You guys, I've showed it for years. You guys, see, you've seen other guys. It's so inexpensive to live in these other countries and be free be, to escape the matrix. Right? I've been doing it. I've been doing it seven years in the Philippines. If I can do it, you can do it too, man. And ladies, these guys are going to start doing it. And you know what's crazy? You know, you guys want to know what's the craziest thing because you guys already know. Because you guys, especially that's in my live stream, is I became more independent from doing these online sites. And you know who told me about the site that I worked on for seven, eight years? This woman right behind the camera. I call her Kitty Kanpo KD Experience. It's the one that showed me the site where I made my income, and you can do it too. But ladies, they're coming. Prepare for it. And ladies in the US, it's gonna be a cold fall, a cold winter. Because winter is here. And I'm not trying to bash women. I'm not trying to bash any woman anywhere. But it's gotten that bad. To where now you see guys saying, other guys in, other, in the manosphere and other communities say, oh no, men, get your passports. And I've, I've been on it for a while. But now it's really that bad. Men, get your passports. And Filipinas, prepare because they're coming in droves. Also, I wanna give a special shout out to Michael Miller, Sibley Rocco, and everyone else that donated this past live stream. Thank you guys for the camera. I got the new camera. Let's hop into that. We're in front of the world famous, about to go get the camera right now for the vlog, so let's go do that. For the, for the live stream. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need the camera. I'm gonna need to work on the live stream sound. Shout out to the Super Chatter, thank you guys. It's all because of you I'm getting this camera. Thanks a lot for the love and support. Many more live streams to come. The live streams are all gonna be interactive now, so let's make it happen. That ADP is the one we were using last time. I don't think they have that one. What? Mom, 720 yes, is fine, available. See, the one we have white is... Screen. This is fine. Uh, this is good. White screen. That's what I need. 720. 720 is fine. I think there's a gold pass. Which one you got to pay more for that? Uh, 720 is fine. You get, you get another one in, uh, in like three, two, three months. So since we're in the province. Yeah. Then have no 1080p here. We can wanna... wait until we go to Manila, but well, as long as it's so, good so enough, you, you guys give a camera fun, so we're gonna get it today. Well, if it's good enough for me to spy you on Tay right there, to spy on her, <laughs> Tay is good enough. <laughs> like this. Hey guys, welcome back to another live stream. <laughs> Where the white screen is like this. Hey guys, welcome back to another live stream. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> See, you get the point. I have a mic for the stream already. I need, I need a better setup for that. How is it? It's not Watch. clear, right? See, this one is white screen. You see how my full body's in here? Come see me, Squeer. That's the next one. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Now, the thing is, this is not the final setup. You know, really get, really have everything set up the way I want it. You know, you got to spend tons of money. Like on a webcam, I probably need to spend $500, 25,000 pesos. You know, for the right mic setup, I would need to spend a thousand, you know, for a full studio setup, which I'll get over time. You park when I'm recording outside. I got the webcam here. 2,599, 2,600. Thank you guys yeah, for the super chat. For the super, the super chats. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you like my content, you're welcome to support my, my content by giving a small donation at PayPal. You can go to my Buy Me A Coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash JTBF. And there you can buy me a coffee or you can book a consultation with me. I have consultations for a very small fee. Also, I have consultations for working at home. So if you're a guy that's a little younger, not quite retired yet, and you want to work from home while in the Philippines, you can go to my Buy Me A Coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash JTBF and also have a packages for 
working at home, so you see them there, you, you can book it there. You can get a shirt that represents your journey to the Philippines at foxtonomy.creator-spring.com. Once again, that's foxtonomy.creator-spring.com and get a shirt that represents your journey to the Philippines today. There's a new feature to YouTube, it's thanks. Now at the bottom of this video, you see thanks there. You can give a thanks and make sure your comment is highlighted and you can give a small donation that way as well. Guys, in the description, you'll see other videos of my other content that's great as well. So you can be sure to watch my other content there. Thank you for watching. See you next video.